guys, welcome back to another build video. This time we're going to be looking at an interrupter build for Veteran Asylum Sanctorum. There's not really one set build out there for interrupters. Uh, it's probably due to, to the fact that most interrupters just have a personal preference of what to run. Uh, a lot of YouTubers do post their builds in the YouTube comments. Sometimes it can be quite hard to find, so this is just going to be uh, an overall guide to what I run, what I, what I find quite helpful. Um, it will also include some helpful tips, uh, a guide kind of, to be used for fellow interrupters uh, on console that don't really play with add-ons. Uh, I'll include a link to one of my favourite interrupters below, he's worth checking out, you can learn things from watching his clips. Uh, I'll link a timer as well, which is what I use to time Lothus whilst interrupting, it's really easy to use, really simple, really great. So let's get right into the build. So there's quite a lot you can run as an interrupter in Vast, Burning Spell Weave, Sora if you can stay in the stacks. Um, this is what I tend to use. So we're running an Asylum Perfected Inferno. It's kind of pretty common sense to use an Inferno as soon as you're using Crushing Shock on your front bar in most retentions to interrupt. It just gives you that extra bit of damage when weaving. We're running a Maelstrom VMA staff on the back bar. Now the enchant on this is important. You can run a Berserker enchant on this if you want to. I'm running a Magic Return Glyph currently just due to the fact that I'm not running Dark Deal or Balance. I'm going to run two piece of for extra cleave. Now if you want to play it safe you can use Ice Heart which is highly recommended. The shield from this is incredible uh, and with the next set that we're using we're pretty much always guaranteed the shield. So our next five piece that we're choosing to use is mechanical acuity. Now you can use many things. You could use Burning Spell Weave, you could use Scaven Mage, you could use Soria, uh, but this is what I find most effective just due to the fact that it gives you some really nice max stats and the max stats are quite useful. With this we're running 3 Willpower, 2 Bloodthirsty, 1 Arcane. Seems to be the best setup and most recommended. All spell damage. Now for the skills there's really only one kind of flex spot that you can use. Um, at the minute this is where I've got balance. Now when I'm running balance I don't run a return magic or glyph on my VMA stuff. This is just because I don't really need it because balance has given me that magic return and my resistances. Currently progressing through Redeemer we're using I'm using boundless the resistances and some speed just to quickly shoot across the map if I'm too far to interrupt. Um, but again with this setup, you can run multiple things. You could run Crit Surge. Now, Crit Surge heals you. Um, if the healer's obviously not doing his job or down, a heal is not a bad shout, so Crit Surge, great use. Bound Aegis is going to give you that minor resistances while slotted and more max on your back bar. It's never a bad shout again. You could even use the other more for balance spell symmetry just for your next move to be cheaper, but you won't get the resistances from this. A lot of other interrupters with this kind of setup can run Dark Deal. It, mechanical Acuity gives you a piece max stam. I'm also a Dark Elf on this build. I tried it just to see what kind of extra damage I could get out of this. Uh, and as you can see, Dark Deal, you can use it quite effectively. The only thing you've got to watch for is those Lothis cones if you're out of stam to block them. Uh, they can get pretty nasty. Uh, you don't really need to block them, you can just shield, but it's always great to block just to play safe. The rest of the skills on an interrupter are pretty straightforward. You want obviously your wall of elements, your liquid lightning, an execute. I wouldn't really recommend using curse. Uh, you want your crushing shark, you want a destral, you want atro for the extra damage in the group. Okay, for the rest of the video, I just want to quickly talk about the basic office mechanics which can help any interrupter progress through fast. So, firstly, Lofus is up for three minutes. That's the longest you want him up because after that, he's going to enrage. His downtime is 40 seconds. You want to be telling your group that Lofus is about to be up 15 seconds, 20 seconds in advance. He'll probably get up and use his oppressive bolts attack, which is what you are basically looking to interrupt. This can be happening every 12 seconds, give or take what mechanics he's doing. So if you're on console playing like I am, you want to be spamming Lofus in your head after counting to 12. Um, and then getting ready for that interrupt to make sure that he doesn't cast and damage your group. The only other mechanic that Lofus does is a cone, which is happening to me now. Now this cone once calling out, you can see that you get a green mist around the player that it's happening to. Uh, 
and then he will co in the select player. The idea is not to move left or right to blast other members as your group as it does more damage. You just want to shield it up, you know, play it safe. You don't have to worry about interrupting in this time because he won't do anything but co in your group so you can carry on doing other stuff. But be careful as he may need interrupting straight after or just before. Sometimes when he gets up he instantly cones, sometimes when he gets up he instantly needs interrupting. So just basically be ready five seconds before the office is due to be up. Thank you for watching. I hope it's been a helpful build slash guide to Lopez. I'll post anything else I can think of that I missed in the description below. Thank you for watching and hope you enjoyed.